Hello everyone and welcome to Machine Learning Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to correctly install Confi UI and Flux Dev text-to-image model on a Linux Ubuntu computer. So let's immediately start. The installation instructions are given on this official website over here. However, a number of viewers of this channel are completely new to Linux Ubuntu and for them these instructions might look confusing and consequently we have, cre we have created this video tutorial to lead you through all the steps and to explain them correctly. So let's immediately start. The first thing that you need to do is to open a terminal. You can do it by clicking here and searching for terminal. And over here in the terminal window, you need to first run update and upgrade commands. Consequently, you need to type sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. This will update and upgrade all the packages on your system. Consequently, keep in mind, whenever you want to install a new program on Linux Ubuntu, then you need to run these commands. Then after some times you will be asked, do you want to compute, continue, press Y and everything will be updated and upgraded on your system. Depending on how often you run these two commands, these two commands might take few minutes or even an hour. Okay, the next step is to verify that you have Python installed on your system. To do that, you need to type something like this, Python 3 and dub, then double dash and then version and you should see your current Python version. However, if you have installed Linux Ubuntu, that is, if you have installed the correct desktop version, Python comes with Linux Ubuntu. However, if you don't have Python installed on your system, then on Ubuntu system, you can simply install Python by running this command over here. And then everything will be installed. The next step is to correctly install CUDA support on your system. If you are first time playing with CUDA or with your NVIDIA graphics cards, then you most likely don't have CUDA support on your system. So let's verify that by typing this. And if you see something like this, then, then CUDA is properly installed on your system and you can continue. However, if you don't see uh, this response, that is if you see an error, then you need to install CUDA. To install CUDA, you need to simply go to Google and search install CUDA 12.6 or let's say install CUDA and then go to this website over here and then click on Linux, click on x86, click on over here Ubuntu, then click on your Ubuntu version that you have and over here click on Deb Network and just type these, these four commands and CUDA will be installed on your system. I have also created a video tutorial on my channel explaining how to install NVIDIA CUDA. You can simply search for install NVIDIA CUDA on Linux Ubuntu. If you're not sure about your Linux Ubuntu version, then you can retrieve it by going back to the terminal and type this command and you should see your Linux Ubuntu version. Good. The next step is to install Git such that we can download the remote repositories. You can do that by simply executing this command. Okay, let's continue. The next step is to create a virtual environment. So what's the idea behind virtual environments? Namely, whenever you want to install a Python program on, or a package, the idea is to create a separate environment, that is, to create an environment that will have initially zero packages installed. So let's do that. So first of all, we need to create a Python virtual environment by executing this command then it's going to take some time and then we need to activate our virtual environment by executing this command over here and now in parentheses you will see that our virtual environment is active and we can continue the next step is to install the confi ui command line tools so we can properly install confi ui so type this and confi ui command line tools will be installed Good. The next step is to install Confi UI. 
we can simply install confui by running this command and press enter. Now here you need to select your GPU. I'm assuming that you have NVIDIA. However, you can also experiment with AMD. Click here. Let's select and let's press Y over here and let's be patient. This step might take a while since ConfUI needs to install a number of Python packages. So let's be patient over here. Then, after approximately five minutes, ConfUI should be installed on your system. However, we have to make sure that PyTorch and CUDA support is properly installed. Most likely the previous command has installed PyTorch with NVIDIA CUDA support. However, to be 100% sure, let's try to manually install PyTorch with the NVIDIA CUDA support. To do that, simply search install PyTorch CUDA and click on this website over here, then select stable Linux pip Python and select here the CUDA version, then run this command in a terminal and let's see as you can see over here pytorch is already installed good and we can continue further the next step is to try to launch the program so how to launch the program well let me show you several things first of all we have to make sure that everything works as it should to do that we have to do the following Let's say that you have restarted your computer and to simulate that, that is to explain you how to start everything from scratch, here I'm going to close this terminal and then I'm going to open a new terminal over here. Okay, so here it is. And let's say that you start from a fresh terminal and if you simply type something like this, config launch, it's not going to work. And it's not going to work because you didn't activate the virtual environment in which ConfUI is actually installed. Namely, what's happened behind the scene is that on our home folder, we have created two subfolders. We have created ConfUI and ConfUI environment. And ConfUI.environment is actually the folder that contains all the libraries. And we need to activate that environment. How to activate that environment? Well, to activate that environment, you need to do the following. You need to go back and you need to go and you need to type this command. Here you need to type this. Okay. And now you will see that your environment will be active. This is very important. And now you can launch ConfiUI. Okay, to launch ConfUI, you simply need to, let me go back and here is the command. You need to type this and let's see what will happen. Then it's going to take a while and let's see what happens over here. And now, so you will see this address and this is the address that starts the ConfUI. So, okay, we can do the following. We can copy this address and then we can go in our web browser and over here we can paste this address and this should start the ConfUI graphics user interface. Here it is. And the next step is to actually start modeling. That is, the next step is to download the model file such that we can run text to image model. For that purpose, my suggestion is to go to this website. Simply search for Comfy UI examples or you can enter this address. So what do you need to do here? In this video tutorial, I'm going to install a relatively computationally inexpensive model, which is basically this model, Flux Dev, simple to use FPA checkpoint version. And its installation is super simple. Consequently, go all the way down and find this section simple to use FPA checkpoint version. Then click over here or open, let's open this link in new terminal. And over here, you'll see that we have reached a web page 
on which there is this file and we need to download this file. However, we need to save this file inside of this folder, ConfUI models checkpoints. So let's do that, okay? So let's make sure that we save it in the proper folder. Should be models checkpoints. So let's click here or actually here and then let's download it. Then let's find the folder. Let's go to home and then let's find or let's click here on modified let's see where the things are modified today so here it is then there is a folder confi ui and let's find the models folder and let's see what is the folder the folder should be checkpoints if i'm not mistaken so we can find the checkpoints folder by simply typing checkpoints here it is and let's save the file inside of this folder. Now the file will be downloaded and it's going to take a while to download this file since this file is, is around 18 gigabytes. Depending on how fast your internet connection, it might take five minutes or even 10 minutes to download this file. And after several minutes, if you click over here, you will see that the file is downloaded. Click over here to make sure that the file is in the proper folder. And the next step is to configure our workflow. To do that, simply click this window and separate it from the main window. And here comes magic. So first of all, click over here and then click on this website over here. And here, here's the trick. Here, you just need to drag the image over here from this window to this window and that's it so if i drag here and if i release this image magic happens and the configuration is properly loaded and that's it you will see that the checkpoint is here that other things are over here and over here we can adjust our prompt that is over here we can enter the text that we want to generate that is the image we want to generate okay so let's now run over here and everything should be executed properly here you can look into the terminal in which you started confi ui and you will see that the model is loaded and it's going to take a while to generate the image on my in my case i'm using nvidia 3090 with 32 gigabyte of vram and it takes maybe 10 15 seconds to generate the image once the model is completely loaded. So let's see the image. And note over here that this is actually a test image suggested by the authors of Confi UI. So let's see what happens. And then we can just wait for a while and see the image over here. And magic happens, let's wait, let's wait for a while. And let's see what's happening here behind the scene. Here is the image, beautiful. Okay, so let's try our own image. Blue, uh, blue Honda car driving down a mountain road next to the ocean. Let's see what will happen. And let's now again press run. And again, the model should be executed. If you now click over here in the terminal, you will see how the model is being generated. And we will wait for a while until we see the image over here. So let's see what happens. Let's be patient. And of course, over here, you can also try other models. That is, if you go to the main website, you'll see some other models. You can even try the models given over here you can try even a full model if you have a powerful gpu and here it is here is a honda car which might not be exactly honda it looks like more like ferrari or porsche or something like that however we can see nice beach in the background okay that's all for today and thanks for watching